Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Liz, aka Neon Flay. Uh, bear with me as I make this video. This isn't the first time I've done it, but I'm just gonna go along with it. I've done it before. I used to do this on WordPress, but I kind of gotten away with it. I think I've only put up like two or three videos, but I'm gonna try to do this on YouTube now. So, what is it I'm exactly doing? Well, I was. Let's back up a second. I tried creating a WordPress blog strictly on just mental health and what I'm going through. I'm currently going through anxiety, depression, maybe bipolar disorder, but I'm not sure yet. So let's just stick with anxiety. And I was trying to make these videos because it was a way of coping and I wanted to, then I eventually started posting them. To the public because I get super nervous but I like looking back on them and seeing what it is I do when I get nervous what I do when I get anxious and I try to make the videos just straight through no matter how many times I may have stuttered or screwed up and and I've got kind of positive feedback out of it but I want to try to do it on YouTube instead because YouTube is a much larger social media platform and I want to do it and see how I go, and I just force myself to make these videos just to get through my anxiety, like I said, coping mechanism. So we're going to start this, hopefully, I will start with this and s stick with it and see how it goes. Like I said before, I got like somewhat positive feedback, but I didn't really go through with, I didn't really stick with it, so I can't really say if it was a, a success or not, so, but anyways, um gonna start making these videos. I'm gonna talk about, if I'm having a bad day, I'm gonna talk about, hopefully force myself to get on here and talk about how I've been feeling, or what's been going on, what happened that triggered my anxiety, and what I'm doing to try to deal with it, or what I haven't been doing. Um, just things like that, and I've been, I've had anxiety for about like for a little over two years now, and it's been a hell of a roller coaster. But ever since I got diagnosed with a mental health illness, I've been sort of been like an advocate since then because nobody really understands how anxiety works. I take that back. Not every, not everyone understands. They think it's not as severe as bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or any of that when people hear anxiety they just think oh just don't think about it I mean what is there to worry about but I don't think a lot of people understand that it's not that easy like if it weren't that easy then I wouldn't if we're that easy I wouldn't be here right now so anxiety difference from differs from person to person but I when I got diagnosed with it I spoke with a lot of people and I realized I wasn't the only one that feels this way and want people to understand that we don't choose to be this way. Like, I don't like waking up in the morning feeling like I'm going to throw up because I feel like an impending doom is coming, especially if something traumatic has happened in my life recently. Then that's the first thing I'm going to think of in the morning. And if there's something I can do to fix it, then I'm just going to lay in bed and just worry about it. I don't want to get out of bed. I'm not going to shower. I'm not going to eat. Nothing. I'm just going to lay in bed and be a vegetable. And be a zombie. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to put off all the important things. I may call out of work. I may put off my homework. And it's not good. It needs to be a lot worse because then I would just drink. That was my biggest that was my biggest flaw. Is my anxiety. I would deal with my anxiety with drinking. And it just took, it took a nasty turn this summer. And now I'm trying to get back on my feet. But my drinking, my anxiety has made me reckless and it maybe had severe mood swings and I lost almost lost my job um didn't think I was going back to school I lost a lot of friends I lost two of my best friends and I still continued with this toxic relationship I was in and I almost lost my car it was just a lot of things happened to me and then in turn I what happened was I hit rock bottom when I eventually checked myself into the hospital because I was just feeling out of control and what happened was I was drinking and I started hurting myself again I was starting to cut I'm starting to cut myself again I was doing it for like two days and then the next day I was eventually like called out of work went to an interview went to a job interview and I thought it went well but I didn't get it 
shocker. Um, that night I called out of work, went to the hospital, and that was, and it was a very scary, horrifying experience, but that's when I realized that I have got to get my shit together, and I'm not going to let my stupid anxiety bring me down, okay? Even though I hate when people just sweep my anxiety under the rug because they think it's just me worrying all the time, but people don't understand it's a lot more than that, and it feels like... The way I see it, I wake up in the morning and I'm battling myself. I try to convince my brain to stop worrying about stupid shit and just focus on myself. Focus on school and focus on work and... Sorry. See, this is what I mean. I get easily distracted because I just had a stupid email pop up. But... And I don't want to because some days like today, like I didn't get up until noon because something stupid happened with this guy I've been seeing and he finally called it off with me. We called it off like a hundred times. But of course, I let it get to me. And I was just, and then I just was just like really depressed. I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do with myself now? Like, am I ever going to see him again? Like, I don't know if I want to be his friend. But then I'm like, you know what? Him and I have been on and off for like a year. And then, so I told myself, like, you know, if this is really it, then this better be it, because I'm sick of this shit. And did I have the chance to walk away a long time ago? Yeah, but I didn't do it. So this is where I am now. So, you know, live and learn, right? Um, one of my best friends got married last weekend, and I didn't get invited to the wedding, because she decided not to be my friend anymore. All my friends were at that wedding, except for me. Why? Because of my stupid, reckless behavior over the summer. And I took their friendship for granted. They didn't think I was listening to them, so they're just like, we're done with you. Does it suck? Yeah. Do I blame them? No, of course not. I probably would have done the same thing. But, um, anyways, this video is going on. For an intro video, this is going on a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But, basically, that is the... That's what I'm going to try to do with this YouTube channel. I've been trying to spread awareness about anxiety and depression and just mental health in general. How they shouldn't just be swept under the rug and it's not like something we can just will away. Like, trust me, we wish we could, but we can't. But you know what? These are the cards that we were dealt with, so we just learned to deal with them. And for the past two years, I've been lucky enough that I've had family that's been trying their best to be understanding, but they've been very supportive, especially my mother. And my sister, um, when my friends were still around, they were very caring and supportive too. My boss knows exactly what's going on with me. They give me their numbers and they tell me, call us when they have an anxiety attack or any of that. And they didn't, I wasn't reprimanded when I got, when I called out of work all weekend because I had a humongous anxiety attack and I was like, called them in the middle of it. I called them in the middle of it. They said it sounded like I witnessed a murder, but that's probably like the best way I've heard an anxiety it's just, Anxiety exact described. They didn't really know what to do. I just was like, I'm a mess. I can't come into work. Like, this is not happening. And they're just like, do what you need to do. It was bad enough when I thought I had to go to the hospital again. And I told them I was going. I ended up not going. I calmed down eventually, but I didn't go to work. I just called my mom and she was like, just come be with, just come hang out with you and your, with me and your sister. And that's what I did. I felt better. But unfortunately, I had another drinking relapse. So now I am... I haven't had a drink since then, though. I am now... Um, I'm now 18 days sober. The very first time, I was 31 days. And then I ended up drinking, like, three times after that. So I was like... I don't even know if I want to bother calling those relapses. But anyways, I'm going to talk... I will talk later on about how... Drink... About how much I used to drink, when I would drink, and how it would feel, and how it affected my anxiety. Like I mentioned before, it made me have severe mood swings, and my, it drove all my friends away, and I almost, it, it I, I'm gonna say it almost ruined my life, because I was a mess. It was a, re, made me reach a very low point. But anyways, like, once again, I'm gonna try to, I know YouTube is a larger social media platform. Everyone is on YouTube, and I've now become an advocate for mental health now, and these videos force me to get over my anxiety, too, because I get anxiety making these videos. Because I always think, what are people going to think of me? Like, they're going to notice, like, my small, stupid habits I do. I don't sit still. I may talk too fast. I may not talk loud enough. But, um, and I'm just going to encourage feedback. Well, nothing negative. But this is hopefully, hopefully me, ha ugh, let me try that again. Hopefully me forcing me to 
do these videos and putting them out there for the world to see will help me, will be another way to help me cope with my anxiety and hopefully it'll let people know that whatever you're dealing with, whether it's anxiety, bipolar disorder, depression, anything, that they're not alone. And there are people like me, there are people like me who, who are dealing with the same thing and we can all help each other and create this culture of awareness that we may not have a physical problem, but a mental illness is still just as bad. And it, we should should be treated like should be treated like physical illness. So I don't know. We'll see. fingers crossed. I actually stick with this. So we'll see how it goes. And otherwise, I will see you guys next time.